going up in one of the oldest private elevators in America. At the height of the Gilded Age, the ultra-wealthy not only lived in luxury, they lived in the future. And no one embraced modern technology quite like Cornelius Vanderbilt at the Breakers. This Otis elevator runs from basement to attic. It was originally powered by hydraulics, fed by city water and stored in a massive tank on the fourth floor. However, it was later electrified. Here in the basement, this massive switchboard made of marble and copper supplied power to more than 350 circuits located throughout the Breakers Mansion. And believe it or not, it was operational for more than 100 years. When the Breakers was completed in 1895, fewer than 5% of all Americans had electricity in their house. However, thanks to this massive switchboard, all 70 rooms in the Breakers were electrified. Back in the early days, electricity was not always reliable, so the Vanderbilts had many of their major fixtures outfitted for both gas and electricity. If you look at the chandelier, you'll see small pull chains at the bottom. That enabled them to control the flow of gas to regulate the flame. At a time when most of America did not have one toilet in their house, the Breakers had 27. There were three sources of water in the household as well, salt water, fresh rainwater, and city water. Notice on the bathtub, there were four handles. They had hot and cold, fresh and salt water. Some of the bathrooms even had sitz baths, perfect after an arduous day on horseback. The Breakers was more than a mansion, it was a power statement, a statement that still resonates today.